sa Panginoong lumikha ng mga lupa at ala ng gabi at umaga. Itaas na sa kanya mga hindi
dalangin ko'y binibigkas ng masilayang kang maaliwalas ng ibigin ka Panginoon buong wagas ng aking masundan ang iyong bakas Bawat sandali dalangin ko'y binibigkas ng masilayan kang maaliwalas Nang ibigin ka Today, we celebrate the feast day of Blessed Maria Antonia Bandres. Maria Antonia Bandres was born in Tolosa, Spain on March 6, 1898, the second of 15 children of the attorney Ramon Bandres and Teresa Elosigi. To her younger brothers and sisters, she was an exemplary model of virtue. She belonged to a well-to-do family, but she reached out to the poor and needy in the suburbs of Tolosa. She entered the Congregation of the Daughters of Jesus on December 8, 1915 in Salamanca, and on May 31, 1918, she made her religious vows. Never of robust health, she began to weaken and soon was taken very ill. God accepted the offering that this young daughter of Jesus made of her life for the conversion and eternal salvation of her uncle and godfather, Antonio Bandres, who was living contrary to Christian faith and morals. She died in Salamanca on April 27, 1919, the Feast of Our Lady of Montserrat, while singing and calling upon Mary as Mother of Mercy. In today's Gospel, it is telling us that our lives are formed by the choices that we make. We become our choice. Our past guides us who we will be in the future. Each day, we should strive to choose in listening to God and learning from Him. Jesus tells us that no one can come to Him unless God draws us to Jesus. With the grace of God, we can find the strength to make the choices that will transform us and Jesus will lead us to everlasting life. Like Maria Antonia Bandres, may we always say, may only Jesus and Mary remain in my heart. Let us now begin in our celebration of the Holy Eucharist by welcoming our priest presider, Reverend Father Joseph D. Landero. Let us actively and joyfully participate in the singing and the responses throughout the Mass. Please all stand.
Dear friends, members of the Manresa community, we offer in this Holy Mass whatever personal and communitarian intentions that we have. We also include in our prayers a special intention for Mrs. Eileen Ones. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, with contrite hearts, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Altogether, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest.
Let us pray. Lord God, who gave the blessed Maria Antonia gift upon gift from heaven, grant we pray that imitating her virtues on earth, we may delight with her in the joys of eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us all be seated and listen to the Word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now, there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace that is the queen of the Ethiopians in charge of the entire treasury who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone instructs me so he invited philip to get in and seat with him this was the scripture passage he was reading like a sheep he was led to the slaughter and as a lamb before its shearer is silent so he opened not his mouth in his humiliation justice was denied him who will tell of his posterity for his life is taken from the earth then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this, about himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth. Beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized. Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all to God with Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls. And he has not let our feet slip. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. 
When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God, who refused me, not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry to God with joy. Let us all stand to honor the, the Holy Gospel. I am a living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from Him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us all be seated and listen to the homily. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Say good morning to your seatmate, those seated around you. So good morning to all the students, the daughters of sis the sisters of Ihes de Jesus, and then the teachers, the staff, and the personnel. Today we celebrate the Feast of Blessed Maria Antonia Bandres. Before I speak about her, I am sure you know her already. 
I would like to speak about the first reading. We heard about Philip. He was inspired by the Holy Spirit to approach an Ethiopian eunuch who stumbled upon the book of the prophet Isaiah. An Ethiopian eunuch was a pagan, non-believer, someone who does not believe in God. And so when Philip approached him, Philip asked him whether he understood what he was reading and what was the answer of the eunuch. Sabi niya, paano ko maiintindihan ito? Wala namang nagpapaliwanag sa akin. So how can I, unless someone explains it to me? And you know what Philip did? He, right there and then, explained the faith to the Ethiopian eunuch. And the response is, the eunuch asked to be baptized right there and then. Ang ganda nito, because in our life also, we cannot live like an island, alone. Minsan nagtataka tayo, yung classmate ko na yan, may sarili siyang mundo. Wala siyang pakialam. Pero if uh, these are things that she likes to do, things that he loves to do, then he will go out, all out to get it. But if it is something that he or she does not like or does not love, wala siyang pakialam. You know, when I was still in, in elementary, high school, I loved to play. I never thought I'll become a priest. In fact, I love soccer so much that I was able to go around the Philippines playing soccer in the different provinces. In Iloilo, napuntahan ko na yung Barotac, the center, capital of, of football, to represent my school, the region. And I love to play soccer. And I have a very good friend, best friend ko. He loves to play, but very seldom. And I used to see him reading books. And he would always be in a hurry. And I was wondering why. One day I followed him. I realized he would go to the church to pray. And he would attend the Mass. Sabi ko, very close coming friends. Pero magkaiba yung likes namin. Magkaiba yung interest namin. But we remain friends. And then one day, I told him, Would you like to watch our game? You are my best friend. I want you to be there. And then he said yes. And after that, after a few weeks, he approached me and he said, Now, I would like to ask you a favor, Joseph. And I asked him, Ramil, that's his name. What is your favor? What is it you want to ask for me? Then he said, I want you to invite to a special place where we can be with God. I realized in my life, I was doing what I like, to play, to enjoy, but I never had time to pray. So I said, okay, I'm going with you. Then I asked him, why are you inviting me? Then he said, because you invited me also. Soccer is so important to you. So I went because we are good friends. But now, You are my best friend. I want you to come with me because I want you to experience what I love to do. Something very important to me. And that is going to church. So I went there. I was surprised. We have to attend the Mass. And after the Mass, he prayed a lot. And it brought me also to pray and to start thanking the Lord because I realized whatever I have, are all God's gifts to me. To cut the story short, it was he who influenced me to enter the seminary. We entered together because we were best friends. Eventually, he left because something happened in the family. And I was the one who became a priest. But now, we continue to be good friends. He has a family. When we have reunions, We always communicate. He is happy with his family. I am also happy as a priest. I realize God's way of bringing me 
to the priesthood was through soccer because when I entered Don Bosco, and daming playgrounds, lalo na yung soccer, football, basketball, even volleyball, table tennis, yung ping pong, and so many other sports. And then also, I love music. And then, thinking about my life, I realized it was my best friend who encouraged me. It was my best friend who invited me. And there was a teacher, grade one. She was so good to me. Then she became my teacher in grade three. And then grade six, she was the one who asked me, Joseph, baka gusto mo magpari? And it all started from there. See, I think like the experience of the Ethiopian eunuch, it was Philip who became God's instrument to explain the faith to him, to encourage him. And so, he asked to be baptized. Sa buhay natin, kayo bilang mga estudyante, may kanya-kanya kayong likes, kanya-kanyang love, kanya-kanyang interests or hobbies. Never forget what blessed Antonia said. Let only Jesus and Mary remain in our hearts. If what I'm doing is worth doing, I will do it well. Kaya nga, kahit na from a well-to-do family siya, and they have 12 siblings, all in all, she was a very good example to her younger siblings because she lived a good life. She was a good ate, a good sister, and she realized she can best serve God by becoming a sister, a nun. At napakaganda na kanyang buhay because while even she was sickly and she was dying, during her sickness, she was always serene. She was deeply moved by her faith. Alam niyo ba, when she was dying, she was singing and she was calling on Mary, the mother of mercy. And while she was still active, she was always thinking of the needs of others, how she could help others. She was just, just, just thinking of herself. Na meron siyang sariling mundo, kundi alam niya, napakahalaga yung tumutulong ka sa kapwa, lalo na you bring others to God. That was also my experience. Sana marami kayong mga friends, you will be a good influence to your friends. And ask yourself, am I bringing my friend closer and closer to God? Because in the end, we have to choose. Yes, we will be happy with so many things we can have here in the world, in the world with the advancement of technology, so much entertainment. Pero sana wag lang yung lagi natin iisipin, may gimmick ba? Anong ganap? Saan ba ako pwedeng mag nightlife para maging happy ako? And in the end, you will just regret it because you become guilty because you did something sinful. You offended others. You hurt God. And you are drifting away from God because you are not taking care of your spiritual life, of your soul. Sana, if really your friend is important to you, then you will invite your friend to do something God wants us to do. Bring each other to God. Like the example shown to us by Blessed Maria Antonia. Like the example of my best friend. Kung hindi niya ako in-invite sa simbahan at magsimba, hindi ko makita. Ito pala yung gusto ng Diyos sa akin. Not just to think of what I love to do, what I like to do, my hobbies, sports, but to bring myself to the Lord and to bring others to the Lord. Now I realize I'm happier because I'm not just shooting balls to the goal, but I'm shooting souls to heaven by being a priest, by doing what God is asking me to do and not wasting my life just for my own wants, for my own interests, and for my own love. I'd like to mention to you shortly 
five people who can be friends because they encourage you. They make you the best version of who you are. Limang klasing tao. The first is the person who pushes you when you start to slow down. So ganito ka ba na friend? Na pagkahalibawa, na didiscourage ka na, na wawalang ka ng energy, na wawalang ka ng hope. Kasi sa mabas, a little problem, they become depressed. Nabibigatan na. And worse is, sometimes, nag-iisip na ng masama. Ay, ayoko na. They give up. Forgetting that there are friends, good friends, and God loves you. And God wants you to be the best version of who you are. To be happy because God loves you. Not to be discouraged. Nakakalungkot nga. Ang iba, ang bata-bata pa, nag-iisip na ng, sana hindi na lang ako pinanganak. Sana hindi na lang ako mabuhay pa. Don't think of that. Because God has a mission for you. And He loves you. And whatever problems you have, they are just problems. Imagine, in the past, you have had bigger problems. You overcame them. So, just have more faith. Trust in God. Amen? Amen? So, again, the person who pushes you when you start to slow down, he is or she is a good friend. And she will bring you to God. Be a good influence. The second is, the one who believes in you sometimes more than you believe in yourself. There are times you lose confidence. Parang wala ka ng word, wala ka ng halaga. But people come to your life. God sends them to you. And God sends them because they will encourage you. They believe in you more than you believe. In yourself. Ang ganda kung meron kang ganitong friend. Ang ganda kung ganito, meron kang classmate na ganyan. Hindi sumusuko. Palaban. Lumalaban. Kahit mahirap ang buhay, pero hindi siya madaling sumuko. The third is the person who doesn't ask for much, but always gives. Napakaganda kung meron kang friends na ganito, classmates na ganito. Hindi sila hingi ng hingi, pero handa silang magbigay. Handa silang magbahagi. These are people who will encourage you to be a winner. Not to give up, not to lose, but to go on. And they become good examples of how we should also live our lives in the same way. And then, the fourth is, the person who's always happy for you and never jealous of you. Meron kasing ibang friends, they are happy for us. Pero sa harapan, happy. Pero sa likod, they are jealous. They will pull you down. Ito mga friends who are never jealous is when they see you down, they will be there with you to accompany you, to encourage you so that you will go up again. And so they are not there to pull you down. They are never jealous because they are secure of what they have. They are happy with who they are. Amen? And the last but not the least, the person who loves you the same, no matter whether you are winning or losing, they love you as you are. As who you are. And the Lord Jesus is that. And today in the gospel, he offers us not just to think of food that will make us be satisfied with our hunger, but eternal food. And so Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats my bread, my body, will never die. So think of that because now you have the beautiful experience, the opportunity of attending the Mass. And you will receive the Eucharist, the body of Christ. I realized my friend was bringing me to that because I was healthy physically, but I was far away from God. And it was He who brought me to church. I started to pray. 
I started to receive the Eucharist. In the Mass, I received Holy Communion. And I became healthier, not just physically, but spiritually. Remember, what you receive is the body of Christ in the Holy Mass. And it is the body of Christ that will nourish us. Kaya si Blessed Maria Antonia, nakita niya, kahit maikli lang ang buhay niya, she's so happy because she wants to reach the top. And the top is not just here to be the best student, the brightest, the most talented, but to reach the top, that is to be with God. And she inculcated and nurtured that by receiving the Eucharist. Ang Eucharistia ay ang katawan ni Kristo. Hindi yan ostia review. We will desecrate the host if we do that. That's why when we come and line up, receive the body of Christ, we receive with reverence. And before we go back to our seat, we consume it. When the priest says, or si sister, or yung teacher, sasabi, the body of Christ, we say, Amen. Because with firm conviction, we believe it is Jesus that we are receiving. And it is Jesus who will nourish us so that we will become the best version of who we are. Because God created us in His own image and likeness. Hindi mo pwedeng ikumpara yung ostya, kung anong taste niya, anong looks niya, kumpara dun sa pinaka-paborito mong tinapay, sa big shop, o sa kantin na pagkain. There is no comparison for that. If you do that, then you're lacking in your faith. You are not spiritually mature because you have not recognized it is the Lord Jesus you are receiving. And it is the Lord Jesus who, after our life here on earth, will also receive us into eternal life. Where, like Blessed Maria Antonia, we will be happy forever. Like Mother Candida, where we will enjoy the happiness that is eternal. Amen. Please all stand. We now turn in prayer to God the Father, who from the generosity of his heart has sent his Son Jesus, the bread of life. Let us ask for his grace, Father, teach us through your Son. Father, teach us through your Son. That the people of God, nourished by the Eucharist, may unite to persevere in lives of faith and love. Let us pray. Father, teach us through your Son. That through the worthy reception of the Eucharist, we may deepen our love for one another. Let us pray. Father, teach us through your Son that we may not fail to share our earthly bread with those in need, and so become like the self-giving Christ. Let us pray. Father, teach us through your Son, that like Maria Antonia Bandres, we may always be sensitive to the love of our family and needs of our less fortunate brothers and sisters, and open to the grace and love of God. Let us pray. Father, teach us through your Son. That those who are sick in mind and body, especially Miss Violeta Medina, may feel the healing power of Christ and find comfort and hope in His constant presence. Let us pray. Father, teach us through your Son. That the dead may share in the Lord's promised heavenly banquet. Let us pray. Father, teach us through your Son. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Father, teach us through your Son. Heavenly Father, we humbly ask you to listen to our petitions, which we ask in Jesus' name, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and prepare ourselves for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Amen. 
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we pray, may we receive the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways, and through the example of Blessed Maria Antonia, be renewed by growth in heavenly life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer. 
incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, was to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. <laughs> Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Thank you. 
Please need. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord that takes away the sins of the world. Less are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thank you. 
Oh, 
Please all stand. Let us pray. O Lord, we pray, graciously be present to your people and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today, as we honor Mary, our blessed mother, and, and Saint Candida Maria de Jesus. Let us include Blessed Antonia Bandres. They have never failed to guide and inspire us in our spiritual journey. Let us honor them by offering flowers and joyfully singing a Marian song. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. On behalf of the whole educative community, 
I would like to thank Father Joseph D. Landero for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. Thank you very much, Father Jolan. <laughs> Thank you. 